have that momentum for them. I have to say, I love the team. Welcome to LPL Finals. And that's my favorite thing because <laughs> BLG in the LPL, we love ourselves some full yeah, contact team fighting through all your spells at the enemy team wards. Top East Wars Knight, we need to be afraid of a dive here. They've got a pretty big wave here. All right, here we go. First blood on the table here. BLG trying to execute. They do have the juggle going. Oh, oh Jackie Love gets out, but no. First blood goes over to Elk, and it is traded right back. Okay, the root lands onto the tree. BLG not going to be first to the play, but they will be there in force. 369's like, oh, that's not the corner I want to walk into. Okay, BLG moving in. 369 going to slice and dice his way out. Don't miss his pop. Tidal wave coming through. I don't think he has a way of getting out of that one. He's healing so much. He gets out with the devour. There's the invade by Tien, too. He gets the kill to Shun. They are in the pit. The Grubbies aren't even the focus anymore. He gets one back, and now Tien has hit those resets. He's looking for more. He flashes out of that Q sweet spot. Ben's going to go down, too. That seismic shove is not enough, and BLG, they try to fight, but they can't keep the fight going. Oh, Top Esports, wonderful response to BLG. Uh, not quite landing their engage, engage in the right way. Split push threat. But if Top Esports get two early dragons, that's big for them too. It's going to be now that BLG is starting to get more proactive. They're actually going to try to move on this top side. Knight's going to burn his flash. Shun trying to tank it up, though. There's a lot of damage from those rocks. 369's going to go right back in. Here comes Ben. He's able to join the fight here, but is it too little too late? 369 not able to get the close down on Shun, and he just goes down to Knight. Oh, and Tien tries to make something happen, but they can't get the reset. The Viego going to be a massive explosion. But again, testing the waters. BLG yeah. is starting to get to the point. The top is going to God, it's been so nice to see Elk feel a lot more confident over these last couple years. Now it's an engage from Cream trying to get the angle there for the Emperor's Divide, but he can't do it. Now Top Esports left wanting a little bit. A couple ultis used by BLG. They want to follow him up. Devour from Mako saves Cream's life. All of this starts with just the fact that Elk and Odd are bodying this mid lane in terms of the trades. And now here comes the Talia wall. It's just going to be zoning off for the turret. Mid lane out of turret. Most important lane out of turret taken in one fell swoop. Once again, BLG just run roughshod over the map and start claiming a lot of territory. Big moment. Knights and Lucian. Dragon in five. Top Esports getting called to the back there. Jackie Love not having any health left. Oh my god, Elk is going forward. He is going to get the Dawning Shadow back and a ton of damage in his backside too. That is going to be the Dragon started up by Top Esports. Okay, Top Esports get themselves into River and huge chunk back onto Elk makes this fight even again. BLG, they have the flank though, Bin. Again, he has the flanking build. The bin flank could be the world ender here. Here comes the Weaver's Wall across. Shun is in the pit. Shun gets it. He denies the soul. The Devourer going to save out Cream yet again. They have a front to back that looks really good for top esports from here. Bin can't get out of the back of the pit just yet. Finally dashes over. And players. they've not necessarily been the focus of the. Oh my god, this is. Oh my god. Well, I said that's the combo they wanted to do, and they definitely did it. That's a dash forward from Elk, and not a shot. I cannot believe we've gotten to this state with such a tough climb for BLG in that early game. Right around the corner. Oh, God. Elk is just so deadly, man. The Fog of War is nasty. Naps the Maokai ult again. Ult after ult. There we go. Tidal Wave. Bring all your nature masses, and they will front top these boards under turret. They may go able to make the difference there. The tank down Well, they've been pushing on the bot side anyway for the last few minutes. Not like they've had themselves that option, but here goes Shun. Okay, Shun going in. The Bramble Smash not used yet. Elk getting some damage out. But look, 369's on Elk now, and everybody's found the connection even with that twisted advance there by Tien. And so they do find the fight. Now they'll move to the Baron. Doesn't matter that they're on Soul Point. They go towards top side instead and take two huge kills. Top East, well, this should be the Baron. What hero plays have we got left from BLG? And try to get in. Shun is not there for the steal, but a lot of damage can be done. We root wall used already. Throw some of those rocks. Top East Force just going to commit to it right now. Ben is on the other angle here. About 4,000. On the Baron now, we're getting low as it should just go down. Top Esports going to pull away from it. They do end up securing the objective. Nice seismic shove there. Q sweet spot. Spin trying to fight back, but nice Emperor's Defy from Cream. They do end up fighting one back onto him, but it's Jackie Love who's going to come up clutch on the other end of it. Ben on the other side, though, trying to go with Jackie Love. Ben. Oh, my God, Ben, you monster. He doesn't find Jackie Love, though, as he does with that Q sweet spot. It's not going to be enough. Such a frantic sure, at least. Bin sticking in that fight is insane. The man is a forcing the uh, to be grouped up right now and respond to this push. They do end up getting the final outer tower. Not gonna go for it just yet. Turret getting low. Okay, we got a 1v1 between Ben and 369. Oh, 369's got that all day! Come to the king and you better not miss 369 with a solo. Oh, and he ults in. 
with that Dominus. And gets himself a very important solo killer. Felt like BLG was the remainder of this Baron, but gets as well. So both of these teams, no mistakes allowed now. One slip up can make the difference between a game one victory and a game one loss. Tian on the other side actually has an angle. Kareem misses the engage again, but Tian, he has the angle here on the other side. He's trying to get it, but he gets damage right back to him. Going golden is Kareem, who went right back into the fight under the Sun Disc, but he dashes his way out with those shifting sands. Nobody dies yet again, but we have the tussle we've been getting all game. From Telp Esports, they've recovered from that mid lane fight and get themselves into the front to back position. No flanks available just yet. All right, Tian is here. There's the Weaver's Wall to block off the Dragon. They need to try to burn this before they can get it, but Tien's right on the other side of the wall. The Weaver's Wall goes down. Top Esports right back to the fight. Bin is looking on the angle here on the other side, but can't get anything over. Dragon is just going to be secured by Top Esports. The fight after, though, on, get chunked. And here comes Jackie Love. He flashes forward. Bin can't find the angle on the other side. He does go in. He gets the flash Q. And now BLG can find the fight. Big seismic shove there as well. They're going all the way in. Kring uses the Emperor's Divide, but they can't get shunned. Nature's Grass coming back, but look at Tien the whole time. Reset City was approached, and it is a tussle to be loved by BLG and Top Esports. Sports. And now BLG are the ones to stake their step forward. The Baron are getting burned. Can Tien get over the wall and steal it? Is this the difference maker? He's in there and he does not get it. He will not die after as the Devourer comes in last second. Cut away from Nature's Grass plus the Weaver's Wall. See particularly that Mark Elk. Oh my god, Elk is just stepping up into all four members of Top Esports and being rewarded for it. Tidal Wave on top of it, Nature's Grass, everything, and Mako's already gone. Kareem gonna join him soon. He can't get the Kareem sweet spot though, but that is a huge siege on bot side inner turret. How do you defend a siege against these ultimates? Well, the answer is you don't, apparently, for Top Esports. It's gonna be multiple synced waves heading into the base at once. The Baron no Buck is way. massively turning the screws into top esports base top esports came in with a different strategy they got that undefeated center for jackie love they wanted to take the scaling now they got to fight their way out of this one 369 he's on the back line here he does have a little bit of damage to be done but the rest of blg pulling away very nicely and i think we've 20 you're getting barreled down your top side here and elk is just putting the shots right into your head every single time that's a tier two down this is textbook lucian play use the fog of war you jump forward with your ultimate, with your teammates. Try to find resets for Tien. Keep Jackie Love peeled for, and try to take a front to back. Oh, he doesn't really have a way out, so they're just going to go right back in. Culling is used. There's the Emperor's Divide. 369 has found the back line, but he has been right on him, and they're going to try to take him out. That is already Shun down, so the Elder Dragon is up with no jungler from BLG. And Shun's going to be up soon if they can delay the fight. 369 getting caught inside. They have rest in top esports. BLG, you have to commit to this and get out, or you are done for, as they are getting completely collapsed on. Elk is the one they try to engage on. He puts damage right back into Mako, as Bin has now found the flank angle yet again. Can't find that Q sweet spot in the end. BLG will back away, but they bought enough yeah, time. Yeah, Wave slowly pushing its top esports, and the Elder's going down. They have to be really careful. There's the Nature's Grass. Are they going to use the Tidal Wave Express? Oh my god, they got Mako. BLG, they're moving forward. 369 has found Elk, though, and maybe they get the damage there as now. Oh, it burst divide. Not going to hit anybody there. Elder is getting low. 369 on the other side, but he can't keep it going. And Ben has made the difference. Tien, is he going to do it? No, he gets shut down by Elk with a couple double taps. And Jackie Love getting chased down by the wings of the world ender as Ben comes up clutch. BLG come up clutch, and they'll look for a game one victory. They only needed one corpse for a reset, but they end up giving and donating five corpses to BLG. They fall in game one. This was a boxing match for a game one. It was not one-sided whatsoever. And this is a five-game series I can get behind. We walk away after game one in the, game, in the grand finals. These teams have played six games against each other. You want to know? All three of those catch up against like, Center and game go two? top or jungle with the exception of Orn. Well, so I, am. I think this will be the final formation. But BLG, we'll see as top esports continue yeah. to come through. And historically in the previous series. You see that they're taking the red buff. They're going to push them out so Tian can't get the smite steal. Oh, double knock up from On. That's huge. And now Tian, he has to go over the wall. The first blood to Shun and TS are left. Tattered. So, um, how do we recap all of what's happening here? We're starting to get plates going down to the boss side and some hook. That could be a kill. That is. It looks like it. They're going to try to carry back on a Mako. Nice double knock up. Jackie Love. He takes the extra tower shot, but they do get the kill, evening it up one to one. I to say, so we were just talking about, oh, Tian, mid lane. 
Mills trying to find an angle here. Knight's gonna burn his flash. So Flash is just getting burned all over the place as Pot side down. Elk. Elk. No way. Yes, no flash. No way. One more auto attack and Elk gets him right back. I guess, you know, uh, we're just freestyling it now. Is that structure that is? Presumably. No. Going back the way of BLG, they use that pressure from bot side to take this first drag. <laughs> and walking as a range champion to get some tap damage, get some souls from other minion waves. And, uh, you can see how valuable that can be for kind of like controlling the top side of the map. Problem is, Jackie Love is getting a lot of gold from this, and there's a dive, so there's no other oh, help. Oh, yeah, Ana's just going to walk out to his death. Tian going to take that one easy peasy. Top Esau, honestly, really well played for them to just say, look, you can move the center. Oh, he will be spotted out there. He's going to try to use the unstoppable, but he is locked down from hell there. There's the Orn Horn. He's going to flash out, not use it. Does end up getting out with his dash. Huge stuff. He still ends up losing his flash in his oh. ult. Can 369 lift? He doesn't have Dominus. Anything you can do, we can do better. BLG execute the juggle and take even more on top side. So he turrets even out that score, but they will uh, at least get themselves ahead in terms of the objectives, if not necessarily that nucleated gold on the scaling they outclass BLG in terms of their macro um, around this point in the game as well, yep. going in towards in the mid, mid game, game a little bit more as well. This is kind of the start of the mid game now when you start flinging people at random lanes across the map rather than kind of going into the standard ones. But Shun is a little bit in between trouble, but uh, does he have any with the help? Uh, 369, rather. Cream Ooh. flashes, gets the fear off. Donnie's shadow, and should get the kill. Oh, my goodness. The dominoes are starting to fall for top As you get these outer turrets down, it feels like BLG just become a different kind of beast. And, yeah, it really does change the genre of the game. It feels like after that point, Shun, 3 and 0 on this uh, Wukong as well. Really big moment. Ah, uh, Tian. Uh, he's all by himself. He does have the rest of the team coming. Okay, so Bin is going to tell TP into the fight here at least. And so is uh, Knight. They already take down Tian, though. He went so ham and went way too far. Jackie Love, he gets flashed up by Bin and he has to flash the flash. Dragon going the way of BLG as well. This is a huge game defining moment in game he has two. Has to have a good angle. Tian waiting on the side in the tri bush. Dragon is started up by BLG and already about a quarter health down. 369 is going to move in. He's not looking for a flank. They're looking for a front to back here. Knight was trying to find an angle. He does have Emperor's Divide available. And shifting sands his way over the wall. Dragon getting so low. Here comes the Orn Horn. And the dragon was secured by 369. They actually find a big engage right back onto him. And Emperor's Divide comes out from Knight. And now it's just like fish in a barrel. And you just got to aim down those shotgun iron sights and take them out one by little one. BLG move their knights into flanking position and put Top Esports in check. Cream, is he going to survive? No way. No, he is not just quite. I think he's going to get chased down he's got here. the speed. Okay. okay. Oh, Shun's going the long con here. <laughs> he wants to take him out. He wants to show Cream that this may be his first finals, but he will not come away a victor yet. As he is all alone under tower, he's going to try to get the back off, but Shun is there. The fear coming out, though, and the rest of the team is there to knock him down. BLG, they win so many of these fights back Second to back. Finals for the organization now. Here comes the re-engage from the Ornhorn. Baron getting a little low. Can Tian get in the pit? He does not. It is secured by Elk of all people. And a mad Elk has just come to play. They get the Dawning Shadow across the Emperor's Divide. TS are stuck at the wall and they can't do anything about it. Ben has found the angles and TS are left. Knight gets feared. He's still under turret here. Okay, finally gets out from under there as Ben with that TP makes the difference. They do end up getting it with Elk's range. Oh my God, they're just between the turrets here, Nymera. This is unfair. There is no safe place for top esports. They continually dove and BLG are showing no mercy. Teleport onto the minion. Keep teleporting, keep going. That carousel does not stop turning and the death keeps coming one by one. Elk finds another one and the inhib turret now in the eyes of BLG. And this game has just gone from zero to 100 so, so quickly. A couple of fights back to back and BLG have just not looked back. Top Esports, I think a lot of people were expecting them to go the distance here against BLG. They might have to do it from zero to down. A couple minutes and another couple thousand gold. It's going to continue piling on over 10,000 now, moving up to 12,000 gold. BLG, lasting damage done to Top Esports base. And now Top Esports trying to get one more fight, but I don't think it's a fight you wanted. Mako's already gone, and the rest of Top Esports are left with everything to defend as they have a nice little angle. Oh, my God, Knight with a... Huge Emperor's Divide, and that's 369 just watching as his base crumbles. There was so much trash talk between these teams. Top Esports 
wanting to take this one holistically, but BLG, they rear their beastly head and they'll move up to match point. BLG in only their second finals ever as an organization. Right about now. Tian has had a bad series so far. He struggled. This series and, um, will go to five say, games. has been struggling in finals it's time before, for so game three. Break about. BLG versus Top Esports. As well. He right, needs. Down to the bot side against this. Oh my goodness. So both games so far. First bloods have gone down bot side. Mako gonna burn his flash. So they early. are gonna go for the invade here. I want to talk a little bit of how these uh, skirmishes can lead out to victories. Oh, it's Shun that gets it, I believe. No, it actually is Tian. They're gonna get the flash from on. They're moving out and they're moving in. That's Shun so with the a little bit about the way that they can approach this one. Jackie Love and Mako trying to get the kill on bot side. Can he cash in? One more, and there he goes. He gets the cash in there, but Elk wants to chase him down. Gets one right back for him. And now it's Supportal Combat versus an actual ADC. Both of them will back away. You got four Halo Blades in that bot side. Yeah, that's how much early damage comes through. It's something. Four hundred. It goes into a one for one though. Kill goes over. Um, pushing in towards the enemy jungle and forcing Tian back. He'll be able to get it if he wants to at that same point. But may as well take those extra. Ooh, the slowdown. On. The slowdown's so big. On can't get away from this one. And one auto. Jackie Love comes up big. He is now two and one. Oh my gosh, this bot lane are not ready to give up, and it's suddenly again the Halo. Realistically, still this. This is a risk. Like he's not even going to go for it there. The Ren, too big to contest. BLG take their first he is not available. There's a two-level difference between Mako and Jackie Love. He's going to use the Whirling Death to try to get the wave there. There's a cease and desist onto Jackie Love. They know who they need, and they get him with a piercing arrow straight through the heart. And even though no the way. 2v2s no won, way. they're going to get him. The Fates call in. One more auto. It's another piercing arrow, and BLG come away aces on bot side. It's just Yen's trying to get on a top side gank. Ben's just going to burn his flash there. Does get the Shattering Strike there on the back end. Magnus Storm 2. The knock up there from 369. Is he going to be able to make it out? He does still have his health bar. The overheat's coming up. They want to dive for this one, but he's trying to get around. They go under turret and the juggle the is... Vault side is potentially going to be down. So again, here comes Shun. Yeah, he's going over the wall. Does not hit the Vault Breaker there. Mako trying to burn something in the pit here to get some help from Jackie Love on the other side, but just going to give a kill over to Elk. And it's a clean kill on bot side. And on top to say to it, though, there is a Vi ultimate. He's had the better of Tien so far, at least, and other members have had the better of the objectives. He's in there. No, he's not going to get it. He's not going to use that Vault Breaker for it. Elk and on. in a little bit of trouble. Magnusorm. Oh, they found the Sis and Assist. That's the Skies Descend as well. Jackie Love still alive. Going to pop that Whirling Death. And now it's Shun who has the Flash. There's the Equalizer in. Ben on the wrong side of the fight, but maybe they will turn back around. Here comes that Breath of Light. And the Breath is cooking top eSports. It's about to be a full-on ace. Oh, my goodness. It is been in the rest of BLG. He has been in the league since 2018. And now we get a fight here over on all by himself. And he'll go down. It's something back for Top East. So the thing is, though, it feels like a bit of a consolation prize at this First point. First victory. As the side lane turret goes down to Bin, it is the Rift Herald that was secured. Against the back line. Of course, they're the Aurelian Sol as well. They don't need to win all of these fights right now. They're just wave clear. On, actually getting a nice engage from Tien. There's the Enchant Crystal Arrow. He does not have any tools to get out, and that's another death to On. Okay, there's a couple of ults put in towards that. It's nice goal over. He gets denied. He's going to have to burn the flash out there. Love on the other side gets Chains of Corruption, and the engage is coming through. Look at Ben. He's going to flash with the Flame Spitter. Jackie Love got to get out of there, bud. 369 is all by himself. One Hail of Arrows doesn't do it. Nobody's going to go down as BLG. Ben takes an extra tower shot. He goes down now as well. Now Tien back from the grave and back ready to fight for top esports. Shun gonna go down too with a chash in of Jackie Love. There's your decisive victory. That, uh, Leandry's second item completed for night now. We get the engage on mid lane. Look how much damage he does. Fates call use. Oh, the enchanted crystal arrow across the map. The snipe comes down and another one goes over to top. Top esports again, not ready to roll over. They're zero two down, but they do not, cannot afford to do that. Against opponents, the level of top esports. Dragons up in 30 seconds. I would imagine that top esports will get that. They get themselves two turrets in one fell swoop. This is a massive phase of play. In the last few minutes, top esports mid game yeah. macro. Gold in his hands. He wouldn't be uh, advised at that point. To teleport in from 369 BLG, they're kind of spectating. Can they catch someone out on the retreats? Oh, they might actually yeah, have. That mid lane turret falling <laughs> just now. It's a big moment. Shouldn't take in a couple of turrets. <laughs> this knight could teleport, but I think Ben's just out of position. Yeah, he's completely out of position. This has been in trouble before, and he's all by himself at a 1v4. As Tian comes over with the Shattering Strike, 369 pays up. Honestly, Top Esports, real Top Esports under the Baron's ire. 
He's in the pit here now. Tian needs to make it happen. He's a world champion oh, for a reason. They're gonna go for the engage. They got Knight in the skies. The Sen will come down in the end. Shun's in the pit, but it's way too early. He's gonna go in on the Jackie Love. They actually take down Tian. And now they get the double knockback there. Shun can't get any more damage down though. And that's it. TP, 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 TP. They're gonna move out this time as that's a big flame spitter waiting to come down. He's getting immediately chunked and maybe we take back his pass to being able to TP into 1v5. On has that Bates call oh, used. Oh, Jackie Love dies to the Baron. No! He misses the piercing arrow there as now they're moving forward. They get the Void Rush and there it is! 369, baby! Rolling all nines! And he gets himself BLG can contest on the Dragon. Seems that they'll have to let that one go for free. And in the last series, these games were decided by 15, 20 minutes every time. This series has been much different. We had a very, very close game number one, game number two not so much. Now, yes. Trying to start this reverse sweep, but the name gave their heads into the and say, Are you starting it? Do we have to contest? Are they looking for a fight? They are looking for a fight. They're going to cease and desist right over on a 369. He's tanky, but he ain't that tanky. There's the engage from Tien. A flash out from Elk. The equalizer coming in from Finn. The Breath of Light trying to dissuade any more engage. Mako's almost dead, but On's getting chased down now by Jackie Love. He's going to try to use his leaps, but there's the flash. There's Oh, he auto attacked the ward. Okay, he finally gets the cash in there as Top Esports will take down one of the damage dealers, the BLG. And Grouch are in full spring water. They are 5,000 away from burning down this one. It looks like we might flip it soon. Not going to go in the pit just yet. Not going to be denied. Oh, he does get denied. Cream, the man with the difference, has that engage, has that denial for BLG. And now it's Top Esports moving in like the Predators to the prey. The Void Rush comes out for 369 and gets him. And now on the back line he is, but he's all by himself. The Breath of Light comes up clutch for Knight. Knight able to make the difference. And BLG somehow, some way, they're looking to take down Top Esports. Sports after the fight went their way. Equalizer's coming up in a few seconds. No They're gonna way. try and snipe another kill. Sundisk coming out. He's not gonna get cream. He went for Jackie Love there anyways. Oh, flash forward on. He wants it. He wants to make the difference. And he does. That's so big. Five members from Top Esports are dead. Our league with cream, an up and comer from OMG. We thought so much veterancy would mean that they have the grit to take a five-game series here to bring back the reverse sweep, but BLG are rebuffing them at every turn. We're going to miss on the arrow towards the bot side. Tien gets chunked out here as well. That's the no Vios. No way. He can't get caught. Chains of Corruption there. He's dead. Elk finds him again. It is so hard to survive against the long-range nuke of BLG if you're caught out of position. And this is, again, creeping closer and closer to BLG, getting that map control, which ends games against them. This series means so much to this team. It, of course, it is. First On the other side of the wall, going to take the hex gate, going to go for the engage. He actually finds it. He has the Magnet Storm on tonight. Sky's Descent is available. He's locked down so heavily. Is he going to get the pull the trigger on? He's going to use it to try to save his life, but he can't. That's a lot of damage back. Look at On. They are caught, though. As Top Esports, they're getting the fight turned right back on him. We've seen this before, Nymera, as it's BLG who will not give up the fight so easily. On has that Bates call pulled, not going to pull Elk into it. Esports, they're walking in blind. They have the Ren from On. They have the potential. Tian needs to make it happen. He's a world champion for a damn reason. He gets killed. He gets denied. And Top Esports, they are completely dusted. Here comes Cream. He misses the engage, but it actually gets on. Doesn't matter, though. Enchanted Crystal Arrow goes wide. Jackie Love trying to get the damage down now as well. But Spitter. He tries to get the flash from Shun. That's a nice response from Jackie Love. The mechanics coming out clutch. Oh, make out just so about. cool to see some of these rising stars take it to some of our legends. Oh, sports, they want to burn it. They want to take it. Shun can't get in the pit. The Baron gone to Tien. They don't want to take the engage on the back end of it, but they need to start. To get behind enemy lines. Yes, you're pushing in towards mid lane here. But look at a couple of these boards just around the place from BLG. Watch out for that. Top Esports, they are, however, getting some big territory gains across the map before BLG find their way to break this push. For now, yes. A minute left on the Baron. Oh, engage over here on oh, the 369. They have so much damage here. The Morellos is there, too, to keep the healing down. 369, going to burn his flash over the wall. Meanwhile, another tier two goes down. So that's oh, all. It's going that over. It's going <laughs> over so quickly, though. It's Soul Baron in the last few minutes. Top Esports are playing the objective game, and BLG are not getting clean fights. They can't get the damage down. It's going to be a couple ultis down. Enchanted Crystal Arrow is still very far from going in. Now Shun is in there, but he gets his GA pop. Equalizer on top. The skies have descended, but can it change for BLG? It looks like Top Esports are fighting tooth and nail. They get on Spate call. Meanwhile, Ben's forced out of the fight, and they're flashing forward onto the bot lane of BLG. They'll find everybody except for Ben, and they'll shove it right up the this is not going to be a clean, quietly into the night. 
The night is dark and full of terrors, but Top Esports will light the flame that lights the room. And they move on to the last two towers here. They have resurged the three world champions of the experience across the board. We got a series on our hands. What a late game between these two teams. For the most part of that, I, I thought it was going to be both with the Rod of Ages kind of being the halfway house. Okay, we'll let's hope series to, does not doesn't end matter here. What items he has in that game, just his four. ability to out BLG, CC to team sports. fight the lane with this champion is so big. The like sustain it's... damage carries uh, <laughs> just uh, using some vision control with his clone there. Gotta get a decent amount of damage on a make, but you gotta watch those piercing. He's on the bot side of the map, and that's gonna take away the Gromp, which is of course. Oh, okay. so that's fine. I was wondering. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Cream trying to strut his stuff. Callista cannot be a part of that fight. Uh, Grubs not been taken just yet. There's a pink board in the back of the pit from uh, from Tian, I believe. He might have put Cass that one comes up. through. 369 walks away. It's been just uh, using that Dominus to make sure it's a strong uh, strong trade. It also means that the doing was jumping into the back of the pit, taking one, then jumping out. I think as soon as the cask is using that grab, yep. you think, look, okay, let's not go for it. Um, Renekton is a champion. I know a lot of people have had issues with him over different. But now, Shun looking for a uh, mark here on the no, Tien. So Tien's just used his smite onto the blue buff, so he can't smite away the Gromp, and that's an all coming oh, in from awesome. They're going to flash. They know he has nothing left, and they want a mark so badly for Shun. He's going to flash. He's going to get it, and that's the first one and first blood for BLG. Oh, no. Jackie Love going to flash. He does get the piercing arrow to the back, but BLG strike first on bot lane. It does, and now if you get the Gromp here as well, I'm pretty sure that Shun is just about to get his four marks. They're going to use gonna the Nico clone to cancel no the back. Oh, the piercing arrow doesn't hit, but the hail of arrows does, and Al gets one. It's the bot. That's that's actually, that was big. huge at that point. So that's a flash away from Night. Here comes on. Oh no, he's completely locked down. Now the Fates Call coming in as well from Jackie Love. They have the Lands Respite there, buying so much sustained time, though Knight will end up falling to Cream. Jackie Love has stepped forward now on and Shun there to back them off. It is a kill, but it's not enough to give him complete ability to turn that play around on Aldom's the map. Here comes Oh, Nico. that Tangle Barb was massive, but he still goes down in the end, and it's, of course, Jackie Love who picks up the kill. Well, if you're not winning in bot to continue okay. the cross map coming through. They got to keep the tempo going. They got to keep the momentum going. They do not want to be dragged down in a 3-1 series as Kareem gets the Chains of Corruption over from Elk. It is not followed up on. They did deny Mr. Dirk on... Um, on the virus is enough to give a huge amount of damage, but still, with the extra cross map, BLG are going to get themselves a likely five grubs towards top side. So, with the grand scheme of things, yes, good kill. Do so. We're starting to get towards those big damage moments, and that means that when you misstep, things are going to go out of hand very, very quickly. Down your I W really and your E as well goes up. Out. No. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> That's a big boy right there, Elk. You got to be careful. He does have his friends, and you know, friends are more powerful than a solo member. They do have the double marksman up here, and 369. He's going to be rolling some threes here, and he gives over a kill to Elk. Oh, he a mark on the other side of the map, but they actually do TP. That's nice. Nice going to join. The Rift Herald already gone, picked up by Mako. TP now in from top esports. The difference. Now we have a mark over on Cream. The rest of the team coming in. Dragon started. Bin on the side. He will not be spotted. He has a full on flank. Cream has his. Weaver's Wall coming across to deny. They will be blocking them up. They don't have the damage to take the dragon yet. early on that. They get the virus all through. Chains of Crystal. Ten? No, no, it's the, cha the Chains of Corruption. Pop Blossom on the four members. Oh my goodness. BLG take the dragon here now. No, they want the fight. That's the Emperor's Vibe going a bit wide from Knight. Look at Bin though. He has bought enough time for the dragon to go down. And BLG, like they've done all series, will pull With, off you know, the triple fight. range characters onto this mid lane out of turret. That's another tower down for them. Huge moment here. Big momentum, three, four Again, thousand. we said it was going to be harder to team fight on the on-hit Varus. Uh, not the Varus, the on-hit. Uh, I mean, technically, that could go. This is the temple, and here comes oh, Elk. Shield they're prone. under turret here. There's the body slam, and they're going to take down Elk. The double TP in for BLG. The pop blossom of three members now, though. And what fight did you get? What did it cost you? And as Thanos says, everything as BLG will be rebuffed by the cask of 369. Bin has made the difference. Oh, pop up, there's no smite, there's no Callista, and Baron's on the table. We've seen BLG on this position before, as uh, they were the ones to stop Top Esports in a similar one. But BLG now forcing the hand of Top Esports. Here they come to answer. Mako goes in, nice double grand entrance, body slam on top of it all, but they have the damage right on to Mako and right on to Cream. Look at the flash from
from Shun. He wants to be the difference maker, and he's found the Lamb's Respite to save the day. Top Esports can use the Weaver's Wall. Block off Shun is in the back of the pit, though, and Shun will take those all day. No, Tian gets the difference, as now he will be burned down, though. He gets a flash out of Bin. Bin's on top of Tian. The cast comes through, but they wanted him the whole time. Cream was left out by his lonesome, and that's going to be the cleanse. They're immediately bought by Jackie Love and trying to get out of that Chains of Corruption. Oh, the, now they're on the wrong side of the map. Shun walks forward. Top Esports. Oh, was, my God. They're so far from home, and I think they're getting sent back in caskets. My goodness, BLG are chasing down Jackie Love, and they're, they're gonna even pop the Pop Blossom, because why not? As they will take top e I think if he teleports out, though, the problem is that you lose Baron after this on. Oh, does he stop he it? Missed no, he it. missed it! He missed the Tangle Barb! Well, really working well within that mess. We've got an ult in coming from Mako. Knight already popped. They have so much damage. Look at Mako tanking those turret shots. Oh! Talia has been an unsung hero, it feels like. A lot of under Yeah. And uh, he's got Wolf there with him. Again, top east once again. I love how they're playing around the same. Okay, if you're trying to go towards the bot side, we'll go towards the other side. They're very coordinated about how they're moving across the map. Feels like you just want to take a front to back fight and take that ADC. And oh, Chains of Corruption goes wide. Double oh! Pop Blossom there, and they get him. That's a complete wipe. Top Esports have nothing left in the fight, and it's 369 that tries to make the difference with the cast, but it can't. And now on the other side, it's double kill for Shun, and it's BLG running away with it. It's the solo laners, it's the knight in shining armor that makes the killing blow. A team effort for BLG to turn the series. Calm, cool, and collected. Look at those faces. They have one goal so in mind. Knight wants to block out the pit, though, and he'll do just that. Denied as the Baron goes over. Now Ben finds the angle over here on the Tien. He might still have it, too, as the burn is starting to come through. Tien ends up backing away, but BLG, they move to top. Demolish. Side. You got the five grubs. You got the Baron. And this is going to be top East. Was now he scrambling. Got Mako over on this top side. Got a weird angle from Knight. He's going to have to shifting sands his way out. He flashes immediately and does it. He is out of there. Yeah, it and turned it's into something else and something truly legendary as well. This guy has been such a those game winning moments. Ben as well. Huge shout out to him. Every fight this Renekton has oh been crucial. Man. And Knight makes the difference again. Shoves him right into the mall of oh, BLG. He wants to go for a Flash Virus play as well. Maybe he can get involved in things as well. BLG are looking to push the dagger in. BLG lost in their only other finals. It was last spring against JDG 3-1. There is no longer any nightmare for them in front of them. They've taken down JDG for the first time in two years. They have taken Top Esports down a peg, and now they're on the cusp. Top Esports, they are scrambling. Can they wave clear in time? How far is this going to be pushed by BLG? It's two inhibitors. They're sticking around. They have the five grubs. They are looking to go a little they further. Want it. They want it so bad, Nymera. They want to finish the game right now. One Nexus turret goes down. The BLG, all they need are a couple more structures, and they are champions. BLG, they have built towards this. There goes Tien. Tien. Last gasp effort. Can Top Esports, the might, go down? They are done as they lose their main engage. It's one thing. Have they managed to survive? Is the blood enough to buy space? Oh, the flash! Goes they get him! Oh my gosh. BLT, they've done it. They got one. They've got two. They are on the cusp and they've done it. They are on the road and they make it to silver at the Dragon Cup.